<laughs> What's going on, DNE family? I hope you guys missed us the same way we missed y'all. This is the beautiful and the one and only. Bye. And I'm Eugene. Welcome back to another episode of recklessness and love and positivity and strength and your done knows and all that extra stuff. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be the first one to be notified whenever we drop a video. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Darlene underscore Eugene. So we can talk to you guys because we love to talk to you guys when we have the time. So, but with that being said, we are, oh, that was a Ooh, good one. Good. That was good. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of myself. If hey. I try it again, it's, it's going to be Hey, hey, good. don't you underestimate yourself. You got one good week. You got, week. You got one good wink in. All right? just, if you got that one good one in, don't just do it off right. You just got to take your time and let it come because that one just happened. Whoa, y'all missed it. It wasn't that great. Dude, it wasn't this one as good as the first one. Wait, was, that, was that first one planned? Did you plan mm -hmm. that one or did it just happen? I just kind of, I was playing around. I didn't mean for it to really come out great, but it did. So I'm proud of myself. But, for all you haters who doubted me and said that I couldn't wink. Now there's proof that I could wink. So what now? What now? Like, what do you got to say? Huh? The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because so. now I have proof. Stacking on them. You feel me? Anyways, what are we doing today? Uh, we are doing a would you rather, oh, oh no, well, what would you choose to survive? This is the hardest test ever, but they don't know how hard I, they don't know how hard we are to be honest with you. Like we're super hard, like hard, we're going hard in the paint. All right, so I'm excited for this um, test or challenge just because I don't like to choose things like this. So uh, let's see what happens. Let's get it. Well, so here you go. What would you choose to survive? The hardest test ever. The choices you have to make in this video will show how good your survival skills are. That means you got to be even more attentive and thoughtful than usual. So, wake up! Now, take a deep breath and let's see how well you do. <sighs> Elevator escape. So, you're stuck on the top floor of a skyscraper. I'm already scared. Scared? <laughs> Don't be scared. We just got started. Uh, okay, okay. To add fuel to the fire. No, it's not burning. This building is about to be demolished. There's not a single soul around to help you out. There are no windows or stairs in this construction. All you can do to get out to safety is one of three elevators. Oh no, you didn't think it would be so easy, did you? Mm -hmm. The first elevator is occupied by an extremely dangerous spider with such potent venom that if it bites you, you'll be dead in under three seconds. How charming. The second elevator is full of mosquitoes that carry a fatal disease. It's incredibly difficult to find a vaccine for this infection. Mm. As for the third elevator, its shaft is filled to the brim with boiling water. Where do they come up with this stuff? If you decide to go down in this elevator, the water will definitely seep into the cabin and scald you to death. What? So, you're in a pretty tight spot, and you have to pick one elevator to get out of the building before the demolition starts. Which one will it be? It's a tough choice, and you have just 15 seconds to get out of this life or death situation. I pick one. I'm going with one too, without a doubt. i mark that thing. If you decided to go down in the mosquito-infested elevator, then you've made the right choice. First off, you can't be 100% sure that they'll bite you. Right. They might just leave. You, you know the mosquitoes are number two, right? Yeah, but I chose number one, so... They, they said if you, if you chose this elevator, you made the right choice. That's what he said. Yeah. But we chose one, so that means we made the wrong choice. I chose one. We made the wrong choice because see, they're saying that two is the right answer, is what I'm saying. But he just said, then you've made the right choice, first if, off. If you chose the mosquito one, which is elevator number two, we chose number one. No, he just said for door number one, you've made the right choice. Oh. That's what he's going over right now. Oh, shoot. I guess I'm not listening. Well, oh. Secondly, however small, there is a chance to find a vaccine. That's better than none. The cave crisis. Well, it's not your day. You've gotten lost in a cave. Maybe you're an esteemed speleologist or an adrenaline junkie spelunker. 
Hey, be the spelunker. It's a whole lot easier to pronounce. Anyway, what matters is that it's your first time in this particular cave, and you don't have a clue where to go. And as soon as you decide to head back to where you came oh, from, no. you see that the tunnel that led you inside has become blocked by fallen stones. And then you notice five passages. Honestly, I would have just started to cry because it's already too much. One, I'm already in a cave and I don't, I, I don't think I'll ever be in a cave. But if I was and that happened to me, I'll just sit there and cry because that's just too much for me. All in one day. That's way too much. Someone's getting left behind. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, listen, you are crying. I'm finding I'm a way crazy. out. I don't have you. We don't got time to cry. All right, I'll cry as I'm running behind you while you figure it all out. <laughs> oh my gosh, we can we can work That's with that. That's good one. teamwork. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Them can take you outside, but alas, nothing in this life is so simple. Each of them contains grave danger. In passage number one, you will be greeted by a landslide, and the tunnel will immediately fill with stones. Well, Poisonous okay. gas fills passage number two. It's extremely what? toxic to animals. Did you bring your dog? Hmm. Passage number three is home to huge blood-sucking bats. If you get bitten by one of these monsters, you'll be infected with a deadly disease. Passage number four is a little too steamy for comfort. It's filled with hot lava, ready to sear you in seconds. Radioactive plants grow in passage number five. Radioactive plants? The huge doses of radiation they emit kill instantly. Oh, wow. So, which tunnel would you choose to get out of this crisis? Do they you have 15 do seconds to decide what scares you the most. Fire? Radiation poisoning? Perhaps blood-sucking beasts? Obviously, too. Like, sorry, dog, but I gotta live. I got, I got things to do. No, I ain't bringing my dog. Well, like, in fact, what? all the passages will lead to your untimely demise. All but one, the tunnel filled with gas. What? Well, so you had to be very attentive oh, yeah, to yeah, notice yeah. That's that okay. gas kills only animals. Damn. You aren't an animal, are you? Mm. Well, the split hairs. I yeah. kind of am an animal, I'm not. but you know, that's not mm. the thing. So the gas is the right answer. Yeah, her. That's two for two. The door to freedom. You're locked in a prison cell. You've been given some food and a bucket of water, enough to last for three days. However, you do have a chance at freedom. There are three doors, surprise, surprise, leading out of the cell. But the first reveals a 20-foot wall of fire. Are we joking? The second leads to a polar bear with her cub. And behind the third one, there's, of course, a lake full of hungry crocodiles. You have 15 seconds to decide which door will set you free. Uh, I'm gonna do two, yeah, I'm gonna go two. If you're still not sure, sorry, but it was kind of a trick question. What? Door number three will help you escape through the first door. You should use your bucket to fight the fire with the water from the lake oh. while distracting the crocodiles with your food. Forget about the second door. The bear will try to protect her cub even if you offer it your food. Uh, oh, see, but I didn't know we were able to use those things. The thing. I thought they were just letting us free. Here's the thing. It's, some, it's survival. It doesn't, there's no, there's no yeah, but if they it. had told us for the scenario, but you're right, it is survival, so. You don't gotta tell us. We gotta be on our toes. Like, this is what's gonna happen. Like, listen. That's man. true. That's it. You got that. Y'all hear that? Yeah, I don't got nothing. I'm working on it though. Because yeah, so. they hear it. Oh, my fault. My fault. <laughs> it's Halloween night. You and a couple of your friends jokingly decide to go into a haunted castle because you're stupid. It's all fun <laughs> and games until you enter the foyer. That's when the front door slams shut behind your back. Um, you're now God. scared out of your mind. But it gets worse. You hear a creepy voice, not mine, coming out of nowhere and say, all right, I'll do the voice. There are four doors in this room, and if you want to make it out of my castle alive, you'll need to choose only one of them. You'll be given a gun with just one silver bullet that can kill any animal. If you open the first door, you'll find a raging fire behind it. Upon opening the second door, you'll be met by two fire-breathing dragons ready to burn you to ashes. 
<laughs> and the third <laughs> door will surprise you with a ravenous hey, lion and a wolf hiding inside. Behind the fourth door, there's a pool of hungry sharks. So guys, what will your choice be? You and your friends have just 15 seconds to get out of this trap alive. Ah, take the water out of here. Put it in there and we out. We're going through door one. We're going to go through door four and dip through door one. We out. Squad. If you've chosen the third door, hey, hey, congratulations. Me. You're absolutely right. The thing is that <laughs> if the lion is hungry, it would devour the wolf and remain the lone survivor in the room. This way, you and your pals can use the bullet to kill the lion and get out of this spine-chilling castle. Yeah, I only chose three because I knew that... Okay, I can't do I can't do door number one because I don't know what the heck is behind that. It plus the gun is gonna help me with that. Two, there are dragonflies that breathe fire, so even if I do have the gun, they could just look at me and from a distance just burn me. And then three, it's just two. It's a lion and a whatever. A so yeah, and a wolf. So I could shoot one of them and then whatever but yeah he's right the other one will eat the other one and then i just have one to deal with so that's lit what were you thinking no. yours was creative no. i didn't even understand I, it wasn't creative i took it from what he did you know the last one with the fire and the water there was a shark there's water and there's a in the first door there was mad oh fire. so you would risk your life going into that where the pool that they're at to get water i'm not jumping in the pool i'm assuming that at the door the water's right there and then the, the, the shark is just chilling there, so what I'm about to do, I don't know if I can find a cup. Even if I have to do it with my hands, me and whoever I'm with, we throwing water in there. But that, you that makes... water in there. See, I mean, if that was, like, one of the only options, then yeah, I'd, I guess I'd risk that. But sharks are mad sneaky. You could have just put in that little cup and then you... You even took my hand. Gone. Hands are gone. He might have taken me, the whole, all of me. That's right. <laughs> gotta be on my toes. I gotta get right. A dangerous game. No, no more dangerous You've things. been kidnapped by a mad scientist that wants to do unspeakable experiments on you. <laughs> he tells you that you can win your freedom back. The only thing you have to do to get out is to go through one... You know what that re reminds me of? Yep, the human centipede. Yeah. <laughs> Read my mind. Three doors. All right, what's with the ominous door thing here? Anyway, behind the first door, there are motion sensors. If you activate any of them, you'll be frozen on the spot by a powerful release of liquid nitrogen. Ooh. Behind the second door, you'll be met by a crazy serial killer who killed 357 people, all of whom were eating oatmeal. Get it? Cereal? <laughs> Way back in 1836. If you enter the third mm -hmm. door, you'll be showered in Stop, acid. Just wait. If you've always wondered what it's like to be a liquid, pick this door without a doubt. Ooh. So, the choice is obviously incredibly hard. Mm -hmm. And what's even worse, oh, no. you have just 15 seconds to plan your life-saving strategy. Door number three. Yeah, three. That's what's up. Door Don't. number three, serial killer, come get me. I like. If you paid He's attention to the details, <laughs> You must have heard that the serial sure killer was, was scaring the daylights out of people cereal. way back in 1836. Why? Why? So, what's the worst thing you'll see behind the second door? A dirty old skeleton? Bowls of oatmeal? Hmm. There you go. The second door is your exit to freedom. What the mean? Hold on. So, which huh? riddle was the most baffling for you? Well, no, I swear he said that the serial killer was in door two. I'm just with he, I swear he did say door two, and then after that he was. It, well, the three. picture showed door three, yeah. but then he went back and he said, "If you chose door, door two, two, then you should be fine." So I don't know. Maybe that's just a mistake on his part. Yeah. Maybe he meant to say door two, but he said door three. I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah. So let us know if you guys survived. I think we survived like most mm. of the doors. Yeah, I, I did. I, I, I died in one of the door. I, I said one. This is definitely one. This one. This means one nowadays, you guys. Nah, but yeah, I died the on the one. on the third. <laughs> Wait, no, you you did it. I right. said third. You said third. I said third. You said third. I this said third. I then I'm, this is what you saw, but you saw it incorrect because you want me to be right. And I want me to be right too. But listen, I can't. can't I got to give myself. I really work. seen this. I Maybe saw went this. from this to this. When we watch the recording back, you're gonna see. Watch. So you That's sure crazy. You. But yeah. You need a nap. But I guess I, I do need enough. a nap and I need some food in my system. Yeah. But it's all good because we're going to give a break. We're going to throw those sets up for. 
All right, anyways, guys, like I was saying. What were you before, saying? What were you, let them know what you were saying. Make sure to let us know how many of you guys survived. And if you guys didn't, which door did you guys end up choosing? Okay. Because we want to make sure D and E family, we get through this together. You know, we got to make sure we're on the same page. We all winning right? all day, all every right? day. Even on a Sunday right after church. So, there was just something like floating. That's why I did that. Don't think I'm crazy, y'all. No, I thought she was about to create a new dad too. But... Yeah. Yeah. Be well, guys, be make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with everyone that you know. And if you're new, make sure to press that bell so that you're the first one to get notified every time we post a video. Bring, bring. But until next time, guys, you know what it is. We love you, D&E family. Oh, no, forever, forever. Yeah, See?